In today's video, you're gonna learn how to make this Nedjong Sawa edit in CapCut PC. This here is fake money. I would never work for this stuff. This toilet paper is called silver. The best investment in the world today. And I think everybody in the world can afford this. Let's start by drag and dropping our raw clip on a timeline. And I will be providing you guys with a whole asset pack that I used in this tutorial. So you can practice yourself. To download it, just click the first link in my description. First, let's go to the button where it says Ratio, click on that and change it to 9 by 16. Go to the right side of the software, click Adjustments and hit Auto Adjust. Scroll down a little and where you see Contrast, slide it to 25 and Shadows to negative 25. Click on the clip, right click it and hit Extract Audio. Now just copy and paste this clip one time. Click on the second clip, go on the right side of the software, scroll down where you see Auto Removal and check the box. Now when the processing is done, we will successfully remove our background. Go on the bottom clip, once again go to the right side of the software, click Adjustments, scroll down and under Highlights put in negative 20. Go back to the media panel and look for the black gradient. Drag and drop it on the timeline. Go on the right side of the software under the video. Click mask. We are gonna use horizontal mask. Use this on-screen control to rotate it 180 degrees. And use this other on-screen control to just drag it down to somewhere like this. Now, use this line that's visible on the screen and just drag this down to somewhere like this. Now just copy and paste this gradient one time. Once again, rotate it 180 degrees using the on-screen control. Use this another button and just drag it up as far as you can. Grab the line and slide it up. Now we need to fix the layers. To do that, go under the basic tab, scroll down and put it on the first layer. Go back to the media panel and drag and drop this $1 bill on a timeline. Rotate it using the on-screen control once again and scale it down to somewhere like this. Go on the right side of the software under the tab adjustments, scroll down and where you see contrast put that to 50, highlights to 10, shadow to minus 50 and sharpness to 50. Click on this other tab Click on the green and put tint to 20. Go under the curves, scroll down, put a dot in the middle and drag it to somewhere like this. Go back to the video tab, click effects and drag and drop this chroma blur effect. Drag and drop this fireplace effect and drag and drop this rebound swing effect. Now just copy and paste this dollar three times. So one, two, three. Drag it around somewhere like this. Now use the on-screen controls to rotate it. Click on the first dollar, scroll down and put it on the second layer. Click on another and put it on the third layer. Click on another and put it on the fourth layer and click on this and put it on a fifth layer. Click on the second dollar where it says special effects. Click on that and click on the rebound swing. Use the on-screen control to, to just drag this effect to somewhere like this. Go on the right side of the software, click text and drag and drop this default text on a timeline. Delete the default text and type in monies. Change the font to the font called Telegraph, bold it up, scale it up just a little, position it somewhere like this, scroll down where you see glow, check this box, pick the second box, drag the intensity to 20 and range to 75. Copy and paste this text one time and delete this text and type in fake. Drag it down, scale it up once again using the on-screen controls. Make it a little smaller, 
you can even make this text a little bigger click on the text where it says fake change the color to this bright red one scroll down undo the glow and check the box where it says shadow under shadow pick the same red color drag opacity to 50 and blurriness to 100 and now just put the distance to 0 and angle to 0 select both texts and just extend them go back to the media panel and drag and drop this little line on a timeline position it somewhere like this scale it up and drag and drop another text on a timeline delete this text and type in change the font scale it down bold it up scroll down check the glow box select this second box drag intensity to 25 and range to 75 go under the tab called animations and pick this animation this here is and just drag the duration to 0 to 1.5 second click on our line go under the tab called mask we are gonna use horizontal mask use the on-screen controls to rotate it for negative 90 degrees put this somewhere like this and just drag this line like this add the keyframe on position and drag this keyframe to the beginning position your playhead where the animation ends click on the line and add another keyframe on position and just drag this to the other side select all of the clips except the raw footage and just use the on-screen control and drag it select these four clips right click on them and create compound clip select these two text right click on them and create compound clips hit on these four dollars and put them on a second layer position your playhead right here scroll up go back to the media panel and drag and drop this background on a timeline and just make it a little longer using it on screen controls go on the right side of the software click adjustments scroll down under exposure put, put minus 15 and under vignette put 25 drag and drop this hand on a timeline go under the tab called Fido scale it up and just rotate it a little bit go under the adjustment tab scroll down and under exposure put negative 10 go back to the effects tab and drag and drop this blue mosaic effect on this put the filter to 25 size to 25 and texture to 25 drag and drop this effect called rebound swing leave the strength at 0 we are gonna adjust the size to 5 and leave the speed at 33 now for the final effect let's drag and drop this blur effect on our hand and just put the blur to 5 go back to the media panel and drag and drop this coin on a timeline scale it up to somewhere like this go under the tab animations click on combo scroll down where you see the animation called flip to here it is go back to video and scale it up click on the text tab and drag and drop this default text on a timeline delete the default text text and type in silver make the letter uppercase change the font make the text bold change the color scroll down where you see shadow check the box put the opacity to 50 blurriness to 50 distance to 0 and angle to 0 scroll up scale it up once again scroll down check the box 
where it says curve and put minus 40. Use the on-screen controls to scale it up. Go under the tab called animation. Scroll down and look for this effect. This calls. And just put the duration to one second. Click on coin, go under the tab effects and drag and drop display pendulum effect on it. Drag the twist to zero, strength to five, lift the sharpen at 50 and put the speed to 50. Click on the coin, move one frame forward and add the keyframe on transform and add the keyframe on blend. Now, go 20 frames forward, just count it up and add another keyframe on transform and blend. Click on the first keyframe and under position type in minus 1500 and drag the opacity to zero. Click on the text where it says silver and just drag it where the second keyframe ends. Now let's start working on our big transition. You're gonna learn a lot about masking. Go back to the media panel and drag and drop these dollars on a timeline. Scale it up to 130, rotate it a bit, position your playhead right here and count 20 frames backwards and just drag this cache to right here. Add a keyframe on transform and now click on this keyframe, click on this cache and add another keyframe on transform. Position this right here, use this little arrow to quickly jump back and position this up here. Position your playhead right here when you see that money starts to fall in. Scroll down a little. Select the coin hand and background and just drag it to there. Click on our hand. Click on the tab called mask. We are gonna use horizontal mask. Rotate it to somewhere like this and adjust the feathering just a little. Scroll it up and add a keyframe on position. Now move five frames forward. One, two, three, four, five. And just drag it down. One, two, three, four, five. And drag it down. Make sure that this line always aligned, aligns with this money. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Now let's replicate the same for the background. Once again, go to the mask. And we are going to use horizontal mask, rotate it just a little, just the feathering, and scroll it up. Add a keyframe on position, move 5 frames forward, 5, and scroll down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, scroll down, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you can just put it down. This is perfect. Now let's start working on our coin. We want the coin to appear right here. So click on the first keyframe and just drag it here. Let's move it forward a little bit. Perfect. Click on the second keyframe and just drag the silver text right here. Silver, the best investment in the world. Click on this rubber text, make it a compound clip and just adjust the layers. Go on the basic tab, scroll down and put it on the 10th layer. Position your playhead right here on the 7th second. Scroll up and count 20 frames forward. Click on the silver text. Right click on it and create compound clip. Click on this hand and hit command or control B. Go under the right side where it says animation, out, scroll down and click slide up. And leave the duration at 0.5 seconds. Now, let's do the same for our text. But instead of sliding it up, we're gonna slide it down. I think now we need to work on our coin. Click on the clip with our coin at the beginning of the animation and add the keyframe on transform. Now let's count 5 frames forward. 
after three, four, five. Just drag it down. And go another five frames forward and drag it down. And move another five frames forward and drag it down. And move another five frames forward and just drag it down. Click on our background, hit Command or Control B, and just select Fade Out. Go on the right side of the software, click Animation, scroll down, select Fade Out, and leave the duration at 0.5 seconds. Click on the beginning of this animation, scroll down, and hit Command or Control B. Click on this text where it says Special Effects, and remove it. Click on the first text, and add a keyframe on scale. Now position your playhead at the beginning of the end of the animation and add another keyframe on scale. And just scale it up to 120%. And replicate the same for the bottom clip. Position your playhead at the 10th second. Select this and just hit Command B. Delete the leftover parts. Go back to the media panel and let's add another black gradient on our timeline. This will be our fade in effect. Add the first keyframe on blend, go 15 frames forward and add another keyframe. Use this little arrow to quickly jump on the first keyframe and reduce the opacity to 80%. Jump on the second keyframe and reduce the opacity to 0. Scroll down. On our audio, use this on screen control and increase the volume for 20 decibels. The only thing left to do is to work on our music and sound effects. Go back to the media panel and drag and drop this music on a timeline. Use the on screen control to crop it where the music actually starts. And that's it. Drag and drop this sound effect called digital counting. Zoom in a little and just crop it where the sound effect actually starts. Now just copy and paste the sound effect and reduce the volume to minus 5 decibels. Position your playhead at the beginning of this animation. Go back to Audio tab, Sound Effects and look for the effect called Deep Push. Drag and drop it on the timeline. Position it right here and leave it as it is. Position your playhead where the text starts. Go back to the media panel and drag and drop this gears sound effect. And increase the volume to 5 decibels. Position your playhead at the beginning of the animation and just copy and paste this diff whoosh effect one time. Position your playhead at the end of the video and just hit command or control B to prop the leftover parts. Now we have something like this. This here is fake money. I would never work for this stuff. Good as toilet paper. It's called silver. The best investment in the world today. And I think everybody in the world can afford this. If you guys would like to see a full tutorial on he said it, let me know in the comments below and I will make a part two. That's all for today. I will catch you guys in the next one.